game that I have been promising forever, it seems. <laughs> it's only really been a couple of weeks, but I feel like it's been forever because every day that passes, I'm like, I gotta get this done. I gotta get this done. And so I'm finally getting it done and getting this documented life planner project to you guys for week 20. So let's go ahead and open up the planner so then I can show you guys week 20. All right, so check this out. Look how thick this is getting. It's ginormous. Look how thick it is. This side is the complete side. This side over here is still halfway through the year that needs to be completed. I seriously don't know how I'm going to be able to close this thing once the <laughs> year is once the year is complete. I think it's just going to be a full circle by the time that I'm done because it's getting really hard for me to work in when I'm working on it. So I have to fold out, fold all of these pages out and extend them just so that I can get to the page that I'm supposed to be working on. Super crazy. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll give you all of the fun details on my week 20. Okay, so when I say that I fold my pages out, what normally what happens are these pages are normally in there tucked in like this but when I'm working on them I have to fold the pages out this way so then I can actually work on my planner so I obviously didn't work on the week previously because the weight <laughs> the page is still uh, empty so that's something that I need to go back to but for week 20 this is what I have done so and this one is complete if I do anything it'll just be a matter of just adding in just like little things here and there but I think I'm pretty pretty done on the week 20 for for uh, this challenge so anyways let's go ahead and go through it uh, together here okay so if you look at these tags these are just some um, ribbons that I got uh, I think from an estate sale that I got a few years ago. And um, let's go ahead and talk about the tags. The tags I showed you guys in a, um, in a, in a haul video just recently. And these are from uh, Sticko and they're dimensional stickers. And uh, a, it has the sticky on the back already. So all I did was I got my spray misters. This isn't the color, but these are the types that I use. The uh, Tattered Angels Glimmer Mists. And I just went ahead and uh, put Glimmer Mists all over the tags. And then as far as the numbers go, I used X, Y, and Z numbers. Um, again, these were in my most recent haul video as well. So those are foiled stamped. <clears throat> So I just added in the numbers there. And then, uh, then once I got them stuck down onto my page, then I just went ahead and painted right around them just to kind of give it a little, uh, you know, uh, a little bit of paint on this page. And then I have like a little thing that I got for uh, Mother's Day on a mug that I got myself from Walmart. It's a hummingbird. I love hummingbirds. So I just went ahead and wrapped that right around one of the tags. Added a ribbon from the estate sale that I got a bunch of ribbons from, seriously. Um, this one right here is a pair of scissors. Um, it's like a, a, a metal piece. And I got this in, uh, uh, in the mail from one of my Happy Mail swappers. Uh, absolutely loved it. And on this uh, particular day, as you can see, I got my hair done by my sister-in-law. And so I wanted to make sure that I got those scissors and I added them into my, my hair appointment day there. Um, and then I uh, have some washi tape here. I got this washi tape from a washi tape haul that, uh, I'm trying to cover that up, um, a washi tape haul that I um, swapped with. Now this page right here, this was the actual challenge page from the Documented Life project. Um, the project was to use a stamp in a unique way. And so, um, as you all know from my previous video, um, I got this idea from um, uh, the uh, Scrapbook Expo that I went to last time. Just vaguely remember seeing something like this and then I, I applied it to my planner. Um, that was the only way that I can think of using a rubber stamp in a unique way. So I think that I, I did pretty well um, 
hit the the head of the hit the head on the nail um, with this one. I, I'm really really happy with the way that this turned out. And a lot of people, when I shared it over on in the group over on Facebook, they really did like it. So basically, what I did was I got um, you know uh, my paints. Again, I used uh, my silk paints, acrylic glaze. And as you can see, just different, the different colors that I have. And then I used a, uh, a rubber stamp to kind of get, you know, um, some dimension in there as well. And uh, so, yeah, and then just, you know, just adding some, some tape and some little labels and stuff like that onto the page. Now, when you open up the inside here, um, I always like to journal the um, my thoughts and stuff about the actual documented life planner project um, as far as like what I what I thought so like this first sentence here I, abs I absolutely love the way this week's prompt turned out and then it goes about how you know what I thought about the prompt and and so forth and then um, I also did a video on how to apply um, temporary tattoos onto your page so this is a temporary tattoo here and then uh, I used again my silks paints to do this and then I have a rubber stamp which was in my uh, haul video um, that I've done so you may recognize this image here and then uh, just got some washi tape and I washied it here on the side and then over here on this side, just so then it'll stay in the book. And then I got some uh, lace there um, that I got at the same estate sale. I was trying to apply the ribbon and the lace that I got from the estate sale. And I got this ribbon and lace like uh, like probably a few years ago. If Yeah, a, a good two years ago, I would say. Um, and then this one here, this is the butterfly that I've been using on, on most of my stuff. And then Capture Every Moment. I love that stamp. And I love the quote on that one. And then again, laced it and then washi taped it. And then when you flip these over here, um, you saw the actual tutorial that I did um, with uh, adding the temporary tattoos onto your, your planner. So this was the actual demo. So I included that into the week that I did the uh, YouTube video in. And then I just added the, you know, scalloped edges here with some paint. Uh, and then <clears throat> this one here, I uh, used a, a stamp here and embossed. Let's see here, embossed there. And I didn't really do anything with this side uh, per se. I just wanted to use it as <clears throat> something to, you know, add things to. So I added 50 cents here because that's how much it costs. I'm kind of like, I was trying to like show <laughs> in my own way how much one of these temporary tattoos cost when you get them in a vending machine. So I put 50 cents here because that's kind of representing how much these cost when uh, I get them in the vending machine. And then this here is um, <clears throat> a place where is our, fa this place is our favorite place to go to when we go up to Tehachapi, California. And I dated it when I did an actual YouTube um, video diary of it, which is uh, number 25. So if you have not seen that video here on YouTube, um, you'll see that on 518, it would be vlog number 25, and um, we I talk a little bit about this specific location. Um, and then um, this week um, here on, uh, let's see, here on the 17th, this is my husband and I um, at a cocktail party. And so on the back side, I basically give the date of when we went to the cocktail party, which was on the 17th. And again, I'm documenting... Um, when um, the information that I made the vlog, which is vlog number 24, and so if somebody doesn't want to look at the vlog on YouTube, then at least they still have the information here written down. And then this here is one of my favorite pictures from the week. This is my daughter reading to her dog. Um, that's Roxy. And so again, I laced the sides here on each one of the photos. And then on this one here, 
on the back. This one was uh, from 5-13, May 13th, and it was vlog number 20. And again, information. And then this one here is kind of like my, um, like a, a creative monster, but in a really big form, just kind of focusing on the face. When I saw her in a magazine, I absolutely thought she was stunning. And so I've been seeing a lot of like dots and so forth on images uh, in the Documented Life um, group on Facebook. And I thought it was so cool. So I wanted to give my hand a, a try at doing it. And so um, I got the lady's face, cut it out. These little squares right here were just like makeup palettes that they had in the magazine that I was cutting out. Then I took a, I took a flower out and then uh, just put dots and stuff. And then this right here, I'm sure you all can tell what this piece is from. This is from an image of uh, Spider-Man. So I cut Spider-Man's face off and I applied his neck to her and then just kind of made like my own little collar here using some paint pens. So I used black and white paint pens here and then my daughter had like a bunch of like Valentine's foamy, uh, uh, foamy stickers. So um, she had a heart. So I just went ahead and applied that heart there. And then Just Breathe, all I did was just get some uh, stickers that I had and uh, put them on a white piece of paper. And then I just went ahead and glued those on there. And then as you can see here, I just went ahead and, you know, before I applied all of this stuff onto the actual page, I had uh, painted and done all kinds of stuff and then it was all said and done after I was done painting the page and then it was like, oh, okay, this is what I want to do. Then I went and I covered pretty much all of it. But in the end, I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. So I have no regrets with covering that page with her. So that is the end of my documented life planner for, or pro yeah, planner for week 20. And so now I need to start working on the next planner. I have not done anything in my planner for the ne for the last two weeks because I've been so busy with other things. And so I need to get on the ball and get started. And I think they're probably already on like, gosh, um, they're probably already like on like week 22 or week 23 now. So <laughs> Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Um, also, leave me a comment and let me know that you guys liked my pages. It always encourages me to do more of these videos because they are pretty time consuming. And whenever I upload my videos, it kind of takes away from me uploading from uh, uploading my vlogs. So um, go ahead and leave me a comment. I'd love to, to read what you guys have to say. Um, and if you are new to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe. And if you like these types of videos that I have here on my channel, please, please, please do not forget to share. Um, we are almost at 1500 subscribers. And so once we get to 1500, I'll be having a uh, drawing. So then somebody will win something free for being a part of my channel. <laughs> So anyways, thank you everybody so much for being here, watching the video all the way to the end. And until next time, happy crafting, happy painting, and happy documenting your life. Bye, guys.